OK, so in this video I want to solve 3 sine squared x equals 3 minus 2 cosine x uh, between 0 and 2 pi. Now, because I have a quadratic that has both sine and cosine, I need to think about using one of the trigonometric identities in order to get it in just in uh, terms of sine or just in terms of cosine. Now, because we've got that sine squared in the equation, it makes sense to go and have a look at sine squared plus cos squared is 1, which you can then rearrange to get sine squared by itself, so that sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. So you can replace the sine squared in the equation with 1 minus cosine squared. Then you can expand the bracket. And then move everything onto the right hand side of the equation. The threes cancel, leaving you with a quadratic equation just in cosine, which is perfect because this factorizes. So you can factor out a cosine. So either cosine x will be 0 from that or from this bracket that cos x is 2 thirds. So if we sketch cosine between 0 and 360, or 0 and 2 pi rather, there's pi, there's 3 pi over 2, there's pi over 2. Now cosine x equals 0 will pick up those two solutions where the curve crosses the x-axis. So x is pi over 2 or x is 3 pi over 2. As for cos x is 2 thirds, we would be expecting two solutions. So the first one will come from inverse cosine of 2 thirds, which is 0 0.841 to three significant figures. So that's 0 0.841 there. And then the second solution is 0 0.841 away from the 2 pi. So 2 times pi, take away that answer, is 5.44 to 3 sig fig. So 5.44. And so we have the four solutions that we need. So in order of size, I've got the 0 0.841. Then we've got the pi over 2. Then we've got the 3 pi over 2, and then we've got the 5.44. OK, and they are the four solutions that solve the original problem between 0 and 2 pi radians.